Hello everyone, I hope you are all really well. In today's practice, I am going to challenge you to find your twists, to find your balances, and also finishing with the super nourishing heart opener. The most important here is to always have fun, feel creative, feel spontaneous, maybe take some risks, but always, always don't lose your smile and find the joy in every single thing that you do through the day. Enjoy the practice, um, find your comfortable place, your mat. Maybe you need a block or a couple of blocks actually. Um, and if you don't have a block, you can use some books, you can have pillows and let's get started. Let's make a start. We are going to start on tabletop, all fours, so hands underneath the shoulders, knees hip distance. And I just want you to start introducing your cats and cows. So as you inhale, sending the sitting bones up to the sky, maybe arching the spine, chest opens. Exhale, you're going to round, navel in, stretch the back of the body. <clears throat> Inhaling, open the throat, open the front of the body. Exhale, rounding, stretching. Inhale, opening. Exhale, closing. One more time, just moving from cat to cows, effortlessly, with complete ease. And last time. Very nice. When you're ready, coming back to neutral. As you inhale, send the left arm up to the sky and open the chest. Exhale, send the hand across, relax the shoulder, relax the head, staying here. You can take the right arm up and wrap it behind the waist if that feels good. Staying here, inhaling. Exhaling. One more breath. And as you exhale, just slowly, slowly coming all the way back to your tabletop. Moving a little bit the spine freely in the way that works for you. Getting rid of anything that feels stuck. Maybe the cervical spine needs a bit of a stretch. Maybe the lower back. Maybe the space in between the shoulder blades. Good. When you're ready, coming back to neutral, as you inhale, right arm up to the sky, open the chest. Exhale, send the hand across, relax the shoulder, relax the head on the floor. You stay here for a few breaths. If you wish, you can take the left arm up to the sky, wrap it behind the waist, you decide. Staying here, taking an inhale through the nose and an exhale. One more breath here. And as you exhale, slowly coming all the way back to your tabletop. Very nice. Tuck the toes under, sending the sitting bones back towards the heels as you stretch the toes out. Staying here for a moment. And if you wish to just wiggle a little bit the pelvis, hips, feel free to do so. Stretching all the toes out. Nice. And when you're ready, lifting the knees off the floor, transitioning to your downward facing dog. Allow the head to be very heavy here. Maybe saying yes or saying no. Bending one knee, bending the other knee. Nice. 
nice and when you're ready you're gonna start bending the knees looking forwards and gently start stepping in between the hands keep your feet hip distance allow the knees to bend head is heavy you can stay still here you can touch opposite elbow and swing the upper body just do whatever feels good just see if you can find a beautiful elongation of your spine so the head is pulling pulling the spine allowing the energy to flow naturally through the body one more breath here and exhale when you're ready you're going to bend the knees and just roll up the spine take your time no need to rush ah, good 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 when you come all the way up taking an inhale roll the shoulders up to the ears open the chest relax the shoulders as you exhale through the mouth nice Let's go to the front of the mat, bring the big toes together, a small gap in between the heels. As always, activating the inner thighs, throw the navel in, lengthen the tailbone down to the heel. So always elongating the lower back, so careful with any arched sensation, yeah? No, no, no contraction of the lower back, just feel that it's elongating. Very nice. Closing the sit at the front of the body. Everything is connected and everything is relaxed. Allow the shoulders to relax. The open is just naturally, um, the chest is just naturally opened. You can have the arms either side of the body, palms facing forwards. You can just allow the gaze to look down to the earth, very nice and soft. And perhaps just take a moment to rock forwards and back. Allow the weight of the body to just simply wave from one foot to the other. With the flow of breath, breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the nose. Nice. Staying here, taking an inhale in through the nose and an exhale through the nose. Very nice. With the next in inhale, gather the energy, send the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, you're going to bend the knees and fold forwards as you exhale. Inhale, hands on the shins, find your flat back, head forwards, send your sitting bones to the back. And as you exhale, you're going to melt, melt, melt. From here, you're going to lengthen the right leg, bending the left, left hand in the middle, taking an inhale, right arm up to the sky. Stay here. You can always catch a block and just be a little bit higher. Taking an inhale. Exhale, you're going to melt, melt, melt. Inhale, you're going to sweep the arms up. Inhale. Hands to prayer, you exhale. And again, inhale, arms up to the sky. Fold forwards as you exhale. You can keep your legs bent. Inhale, hands on the shins, find your flat back. Exhale, you're going to melt forwards. Now, you want to lengthen the right, the left leg, bend the right. Taking an inhale, left arm up to the sky. Find your beautiful opening here. Inhale. And then exhale, you're melting down, down, down. Bend the knees. Sweep the arms up. Inhale. Exhale, hands to prayer. Third time, inhale, arms up to the sky. Bend the knees, fall forwards, exhale. Halfway up, taking an inhale, find your flat back. Exhale, you're going to melt, bend the legs. You're going to lengthen the right, 
bend the left, taking an inhale, right arm up to the sky. From here, introducing some circles, taking the hand to the back. Inhale, you reach forward, you open. Exhale, you melt, melt, melt. And I know it's a deep stretch. Continue using the breath. Inhale. Exhale. Last inhale. And as you exhale, you are melting forwards, bending both legs. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Hands to prayer, exhale. Fourth time, let's go to the other side. Inhale. Fold forwards, exhale. Inhale, find your flat back. Exhale, you're melting, you're lengthening the left leg, bending the right. Inhale, left arm up to the sky, find the twist. And you don't have to keep the whole hand on the floor. You can use fingertips to rise the torso a little bit or use a block, yeah? From here, circle, take the hand to the back. Just effortlessly inhale, exhale. Inhale and enjoy this beautiful flow, this beautiful continuous movement. Inhale, exhale, last time. Inhale, and then exhale, just bending both legs. Sweep the arms up. Inhale, hands to prayer. You exhale. Stick the legs together, Ukkatasana chair pose. Bend the knees, arms up, inhale. Fold forwards, exhale. Halfway up, inhale. Hands down to the floor, step back to your plank. Feel strong here. Staying here for a breath, continue rounding the upper body, head forwards. Relax the knees, arch the spine and dive. Open the throat, open the chest. Melt in finding your baby cobra. Inhale. As you exhale, tuck the toes under, push yourselves to your downward facing dog. You stay here for five breaths. Inhaling one. Exhaling one. Inhale, two, press the floor away with your hands, sending the sitting bones higher. Exhale, allow the heels to come down to the earth gently, gently. Inhale in three. Expand the ribs as you exhale, allow the chest to melt down closer to the thighs. Inhale in four. Exhale. One more breath. Inhale. When you're ready, bend the knees. Look forward. So you step to the front of the mat. Feet together. Inhale and find your flat back. Exhale. You're going to melt, melt. Bend the knees. Ukkatasana chair pose. Inhale, arms up. Coming all the way up to push the floor away. Hands to prayer. Exhale. Nice. Ukkatasana chair pose. Once more, one more time. Inhale. Fold forwards. Exhale. Halfway up. Inhale. Hands down to the floor. Step back to plank. You stay again here. Feel strong. Four points of contact against the floor. Press them firmly. Navel in. Round the upper body. So careful with collapsing on the chest. Push. Relax the knees. You can arch the spine and dive, open the throat, open the chest. Melting, finding your baby cobra or maybe you push a bit more. And tuck the toes under, push yourselves. Downward facing dog, five breaths. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling one. Inhale, exhaling two, inhale, exhaling three, inhale, exhale four, one 
one more breath. Bend the knees, look forward, you step to the front of the mat. Taking an inhale, find your flat back. And then exhale, you fold forwards, bend the knees, Uttadasana, chair pose, arms up. Push, push, push. How's the prayer? Exhale. Very nice. We're going to go into a bit of a twist and balance sequence. So be ready. Um, sweep the arms up, Uttadasana, chair pose, arms up. Bring the hands to prayer, exhale. You can do this. Take a moment, inhale to find length. Exhale to twist to the right, connecting the elbow on the outside of the knee. Pressing the right hand against the left to find the chest opening. Stay here to really lock this position. If you want to look at the toes, you can continue looking at the toes. Exhale. Now, listen carefully, look down to the floor, you're going to start shifting the weight of the body towards the right foot as you squeeze the left foot towards the sitting bones. Taking an inhale here, find your balance, you're going to step back to your, to your press and lunge. Good, good, good. Inhale, coming all the way up, you lengthen. You're going to root the back heel and open it up to your warrior two. I know that transition is tricky. From here, arms up to the sky, you lengthen the front leg. Gather the energy, exhale your ribbon. And again, inhale to lengthen. Exhale to ribbon. Last time, inhale. And then exhale. From here, lengthen the front leg, shifting the back foot a tiny bit. Trikonasana, hips back, reach the torso forwards and forwards. You can have the left hand on the hip and then uh, relax the right hand on the shin and open. In Trikonasana, we don't want to close, we don't want to be like this, yeah, with the, with, trying to open the arm and then just hyperextending the shoulder, it doesn't feel good. Hand on the hip instead and just push, push, push until you open. When you feel this opening sensation, you can take the arm up. Nice. From here, you can start circling the hand. Inhale. Exhale. Nice. Just bring a smile to your face. Inhale, enjoy. This sensation, exhale, feels joyful, it feels playful, it feels good. One more breath, and an exhale. Right hand on your hip, left hand on your hip, sorry. Look down to the foot, taking an inhale, you come all the way up. Hands all the way down to the floor, step back to downward facing dog. Good. Stay here for one breath. Inhale. Bend the knees. Look forward. Step to the front of the mat. Nice. Taking an inhale from your flat back. And then exhale. You fall forwards. Bend the knees. Ukatasana chair pose. Arms up. Push the floor away. Hands to prayer. Exhale. Very nice. Let's go to the left. Bend the knees, Ukkatasana, chair pose, arms up. Hands to prayer, exhale. Taking an inhale, fine leg. Twisting to the left, connecting the elbow on the outside of the knee. Now, can you see my hands are towards the left shoulder? I want to actively press the left hand against the right to find the hands in the chest. And this will take time. Just have this activation this idea of continue pushing the left hand yeah to slowly open the chest yeah don't force it but there's an idea of really activating that area when you're ready look down to the foot shifting the weight towards the left hand as you squeeze the right foot towards the sitting bone taking an inhale here Step back, find your 
<laughs> find your balance here, very nice. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Opening up to your warrior two as you exhale. Very nice. Arms up to the sky, you lengthen, gather the energy, feel good. Exhale, rebend, feel stable, feel grounded. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to lengthen the front leg, shifting the back foot forwards. Trikonasana. Hips back. Have a look at the hips back. Hips back. Yeah, instead of going to Trikonasana without moving the hips, send the hips back. Then you reach forwards. As you send the hips back, you should feel the deep stretch on the inside of the left leg. Then you reach your torso forwards and forwards, hand on the shin and open. Continue really engaging the legs, opening the right shoulder back. And if it feels a bit tricky, you can always relax the hand on the hip. Inhaling. Exhale. One more breath. Look down to the foot, taking an inhale. You're going to come all the way up. Now you're going to close the feet, hands on your hips. Now, I want you to open both feet so the heels are in and the toes are out. And we are going to bring the hands to prayer position. Bend the knees, coming all the way down to your goddess pose. Nice. Now we're going to find our hands in flower. So thumbs together, pinky finger coming together and opening the arms. Opening the hands, sorry, like a beautiful flower. As you inhale, you want to send the energy all the way up to the universe. Exhale, opening the arms and rebending. Gather the energy from the earth, finding beauty, bringing it into a beautiful flower, sending the energy up to the universe. Exhale, rebend. And again, gather the nutrients, gather the energy from Mother Earth, really becoming a beautiful flower, sending the energy all the way up to the universe. Exhale, rebend. Very nice. Hands to your hips, closing the feet, lengthening the legs. Now toes are facing forwards, heels to the back, fold forwards. Ah, feel this beautiful stretch. You can relax the hands down. And just allow the body to relax here. Enjoying this beautiful stretch. from the back body. And then when you're ready, you can use your hands to help yourselves come halfway up. You're going to walk the hands to the front of the mat. You're going to open the right foot, relaxing the left knee. We're going to go into a bit of a bind. So you can have a block underneath the left hand to support the position, to support the stretch that we're going to go now. Taking an inhale, you're going to open the right arm up to the sky and perhaps you can start bringing the foot up. Perhaps connect. If you can connect, connect. If not, maybe you can have the intention of bringing both parts of the body closer towards one another. Allow the uh, pelvis to soften here. It will be a deep stretch on the quad muscle. And an opening 
of the shoulder as well. Taking one more breath. When you're ready, coming all the way back. Coming all the way back to through the center and then transitioning to the back of the mat, opening the left foot, relaxing the right knee. And again, if you need a block, you can have a block underneath the right hand. This is definitely going to support those that um, feel a bit stuck in this one. Yeah, which is many of us. I also feel stuck and mostly in the morning. Taking an inhale, opening the left arm and then bringing the foot towards the hand. And I can just, just connect. I am feeling this one very much on, on my quad. Yeah, so I, I definitely have my quads very, very tight. So this is a beautiful work that I have to do every day. I have to bring attention to my quad muscles and just give them a bit of love regularly. Staying here, taking an inhale. As you exhale, relaxing. Going through the center. Coming to the front of the mat. And step back to your child's pose when you're ready. And then to finish today's practice, we are going to finish with a tricep stretch. So if you don't have blocks, don't worry too much. We will be having the elbows on the floor, hands together, and then just bringing the arms towards the space in between the shoulder blades as much as possible, stretching the triceps. But if you do have blocks, then definitely blocks would be super helpful. So you're going to have your blocks in a setting that works for you. I like to work on this one on my middle setting. Some people like to go on lower setting. And if you go into the pose, you don't have blocks and you feel, uh, I'm not feeling anything. Perhaps you can have books that are the same size or maybe uh, pillows. Yeah. If you're working with your props, place, not the elbows, but beyond the elbows, so going towards the triceps. You're going to place them on top of the blocks, and the blocks are at shoulder distance. You're going to bring the hands together, and then from here you're going to just allow the head to melt, and bringing the arms towards the spacing between the shoulder blades. So really feeling the stretch here. Ah, exhaling through the mouth, relaxing the knees, relaxing the pelvis. And just enjoy this opportunity to connect back again with the beautiful earth. While you feel this beautiful sensation. the opening of the sides, opening of the triceps, armpits and chest. See if you can relax the body, allow the heart to melt. When you're ready, it's time to go all the way back. So just take your time, find your way, the way that's going to help you and support you. And no need to move quickly at all. Gently, you're going to start finding your beautiful sit. Just take a moment here. 
close your eyes and just immerse yourself in the experiences of the body. When you're ready, just bring the hands to the heart center. Thank you so much for allowing me to offer this practice to you today. Bring the hands to the third eye between the eyebrows to continue connecting to positive words, thoughts to your practice always and outside of the practice as well. And then sliding the hands all the way down to the heart to strengthen the connection between the mind and the body. Bow to the earth. Namaste. Thank you so much everyone. Hope you enjoyed the practice today. See you all very soon in the next one. Bye bye.